What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the Mobile Pixels Trio Monitor. And what you're gonna be able to do with this is, as you can see right here, add an additional monitor to the back of your laptop. It plugs in via USB or USB-C and allows you to put up to three monitors with it on each side of the laptop so you can be super productive. But that's not the only thing you can do it with. You can also use it with like gaming systems such as a Nintendo Switch or an Android tablet. Really anything that has USB-C, even an iPad Pro. But specifically, we're gonna use it today with the MacBook M1 Air. And then we'll also try it with the iPad Pro. So I can show you that as well. So let's jump into what comes inside the box. So the first thing you get in the box, and I think it's obviously one of the most important things, is the cable. So the cable right here plugs into USB-C on the monitor. And then the other side is USB-A, or you can peel this off right here and it's USB-C. It comes with the adapter attached. So it's an all-in-one cable. So with a MacBook Air or even an iPad Pro or an Android device or some other USB-C device such as a Nintendo Switch, you can just do USB-C to USB-C. Now, if you do use the adapter to USB-A, you're probably gonna have to download the drivers, which if you do, it gives you the address of where to go or you can scan that QR code and download the drivers for your PC or your Mac. A quick start guide, full user's guide to walk you through the complete setup of connecting the monitor to the back of your laptop or wherever you're gonna connect it to and also the installation of the drivers and everything else. So it's all in here. Now I only have one extra monitor that they sent me, but if you got two extra ones, you need to use this little adapter that comes in too that bridges both monitors together. And then lastly, here is the monitor. It's a 12.5 1080p with 300 nits of brightness and a 60 hertz refresh rate monitor. It goes for 250 bucks. If you get two of these, it's about 500 bucks. And it slides right out, so it's very simple. And the installation is also very easy because you get these magnets with adhesive on the side. So the magnets, as you can see, very strong magnets, they stick to the back of the monitor and then you peel off the adhesive and stick it to the back of your laptop. And also just to let you know that you do get multiple extras of these adhesive magnets so that if the adhesive runs out on this, you don't have to buy adhesive, you can just peel out the other adhesives that come inside the box and use those. Or if you really wanted to, you could still just buy new adhesives and you'd be good as well. All right, now let's get to the installation. I've already stuck the magnets to the back of the monitor here. And now I only need to do is just peel off this adhesive. But before I do, I just want to show you, I did also place down my MacBook. So I have it so that when I open it up, that's the bottom. And all you're going to do is when you do this after the adhesives off, and I'll show you this in a second, is just place it down either like this, because you can peel, you can uh, push the monitor out like that. Or if you want, you can also flip it so that it's like this and it's on the left side. So it just depends how you want it. It's all up to you, obviously. And even if you place it in the wrong direction in terms of where you place it, you'll still be able to, you know, just peel it off because the adhesive, the adhesive and the magnets will stay on the MacBook and you can just switch it back over and it'll attach again. So what I'm gonna do is just press it against the MacBook Air so that it sticks. Do this for about 10, 15 seconds just so I know that it's going to stay. And now then once I have it stuck, what I'm gonna do next is plug in the USB-C on one end of the monitor and then the other USB-C into the side of the MacBook Air. And open this up. And just to let you know, the weight of this monitor on the back is 1.7 pounds for this specific model. And I think where this really shines is when you're using the two monitors is productivity work. For instance, you have your videos over here or pictures or whatever, all your library, and you wanna drag it into your video editing, you have the two monitors. And this is mobile, remember, I can use it here and, and drag files over here if I need to really easily without having to open and close this window or minimize that window. And then when I'm ready to go, I can also just push this back in when I'm done. Also, just to show you that if you wanna take this monitor off, 
you're able to just take it off, unplug it, and all that's left is these magnets. And if you wanted to, you could just peel this off because it's all it is is adhesive, but you don't have to carry all that weight around all the time. Another cool thing you can do with this monitor is you push it out like you are here, all the way, and then just turn it towards the back and you have presentation mode. So you could have something on the back here, such as a video playing or the same thing that's on the other screen and someone behind you and you're able to show off multiple things to multiple people at the same time, rather than being on the same side as you, they could see this backside and you could see this side. And if you wanted to show the same thing, you just go on to your Mac settings, go to arrangement and settings for your Mac, and then you have mirror displays. So now I have this on the one display, and then on the back I have the exact same thing so they can see it as well. And then here you go with an iPad, where you have mirrored displays, which can come in handy, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, you're not able to, at least from what I can see, drag something over there, but having mirrored displays on here, I guess, would be the next best thing. Uh, if you wanted to be able to show this to somebody else or maybe play a game or a video with somebody else, you're able to do that. And you can see there's no lag or anything. It's spot on. So let's get into what I like and don't like about the monitor. First of all is the price. The price on the monitor is pretty darn high. Really expensive when you get down to it. 250 bucks for one monitor or 500 for both monitors. It's expensive. But beyond that, it's actually a pretty interesting, cool device. I like the ability of having a laptop, but connecting and bringing displays with me on the go that are powered through the MacBook or the device that I have, and it works great. Um, so no problems with that. You don't have to plug it into an external power source of plugs and powers directly through my MacBook Air. The brightness on this is good enough. I mean, like I can see everything. It's pretty bright in my room with my office light behind me and I can definitely see this from far away or close up. The resolution at 1080p is also plenty good enough with me. So I don't have any issues with that. Also all the different orientations, I can place it over here or over here if I have one or one monitor or two monitors on each side, I can do the back mode where I have it on the back here or I can do trifold mode. There's all kinds of modes you can use with this mode. You can stand it up and down if you want. So would I recommend you buying the Trio monitor? I mean, if you need something on the go productivity wise, yes. Or if you love to have multiple uh, displays with you because you like to watch videos and you would like to do work on one computer and you know videos or entertainment on the other or you do need just two because of work yeah then get it but I think for most people you probably don't need it but otherwise it works perfectly fine I haven't had any issues with it with the MacBook or with the iPad um, so check it out if you want it's linked down below thanks for watching we'll see you down the road Peace.